Welcome to day 25 of Start Now. We are talking about just starting on the path to those promises that God has for you. And today I want to talk about small beginnings. Uh, Zechariah 4.10 reads, Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. And, you know, Jesus compares the kingdom of God to a little mustard seed. And he's bringing the kingdom of God onto earth as it is in heaven. And he gives his children a portion of that kingdom so we can um, be blessed to bring that out in, on earth. And so when we get these promises from God, they're tiny little seeds. So tiny that we would almost um, neglect them or dismiss them. When I first started uh, writing my blog in 2006... I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I didn't think I had authority to write about uh, Christianity and my faith. And God pretty much had to tell me, I give you authority to do it. You don't need it from men or women. I give it to you. And so when I first started writing, um, I don't think I wrote very well. I was a very good writer, but writing about faith was a whole new genre for me. So it was very difficult. And But I just kept writing you know, every week, every week, just doing what God had called me to do, even though I didn't think I was very good or I didn't have authority. Um, and it seemed really small to me. I didn't have any readers, no followers. I just, it was, it would have been easy just to say, forget it, I'm not going to do it. But I kept doing it. And now, over 10 years later, um, I have um, over a thousand articles that I've written uh, I've written 13 books, and I've been published in three others. And that all began with that small beginnings. And I always tell my kids, you have to be bad at something before you can be good at it. I, I, you, we have to remember that because I think we have this expectation where we have to be perfect. Mm -mm. No, it's like anything else. You have to be bad at it and, can, and humble yourself and allow yourself to be bad and allow yourself to learn and allow yourself to be out of your comfort zone and, and keep doing it day by day, day by day. And then you'll get better and better and better. And in my blog, I actually have about 40 articles that are not published anymore because I look back and I think, wow, those are really terrible. But I had to do the terrible post first before I could do the excellent post. When I first wrote my book, it was huge. It was, it was double the size of a normal book. And I had to set it aside. And then when God brought me back to the book, I, I remember editing it thinking, golly, God, this is so horrible. You know, why, why did you call me to be a writer? But he said, you had to write the first draft first and keep writing on your blog, learning, getting better and better, and then come back to it and then fix what you, you did. That it's a process that we all have to go to. You have to be bad at it, continue doing it, get better, get better, get better, and then you can go back to the original point and you'll see a difference from who you were before to who you are now. And that's not just in what we do, it's, it's in who we are as people. We're changing slowly every day and sometimes you don't see it until you compare yourself. So I wanna encourage you today that do not dismiss those small beginnings because God sees the future and he sees what that seed is going to end up being. It's going to be beautiful and huge and wonderful and, and help many people. But you have to get past the, the small beginnings and don't despise them. And know that the small beginnings are, are part of the process. And being bad at something is part of the process. And eventually as you uh, keep going and staying faithful, you are going to develop and in the small beginnings is going to become something, you know, huge and beautiful. So don't give up. Keep going and don't despise those small beginnings. This is day 25 of Start Now, and I will see you guys tomorrow for day 26. Bye.